Question 4. DS. If hash is one of the operations, addition, multiplication, or division, is 8 hash 2 equals 10? Condition 1. 6 hash 2 equals 3. Condition 2. Hash is division. Solution. Now we will solve this DS question using the variable approach. Common mistake type 1, or CMT1. Each yes and no could be an answer. Sufficient. Yes is an answer, and no is also an answer, or sufficient. The answer will be in terms of a unique yes or no. Or if you are getting both yes and no from the same condition, the condition is not sufficient. Let's apply the three steps suggested previously. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We have to find out whether 8 hash 2 equals 10, or whether hash equals addition, if hash is one of the operations addition, multiplication, or division. For 8 hash 2 to be 10, hash should represent addition. Follow the second and third steps. From the original condition, we have one variable, hash. To match the number of variables with the number of equations, we need one more equation. Since conditions 1 and 2 will provide one equation each, D would most likely be the answer. According to CMT1, even a unique no is an answer. Recall three principles, choose D as the most likely answer. Therefore, let's take a look at each condition separately. Condition 1 tells us that 6 hash 2 equals 3. This means hash is division, as 6 divided by 2 is 3. And this condition is sufficient as it gives a unique answer, that is no, for is hash addition. Condition 2 tells us that hash is division. This condition is sufficient as it gives a unique answer no for is hash addition. This is a perfect question that shows the application of CMT1. You should remember this. Yes is sufficient and no is also sufficient. But if you are getting both yes and no, they are not sufficient. This is very important. Each condition alone is sufficient. So, D is the correct answer. Answer, D. The new thing we learn is tip 1, which tells us if condition 1 and condition 2 give the same answer, then D is the answer. You can use tip 1 here. This often appears in the exam, so memorize this. We will dig deeper into tip 1 when we cover it in lesson D14.